Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video tour. Today we are taking a look at this brand new 2024 Solaire 258 RBS travel trailer. This is a one slide out couple style coach with an outdoor kitchen. We're going to take a few minutes, walk you through the inside and outside of this RV, kind of show you what this thing's all about. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are now up inside the brand new 2024 Solaire 258 RBSS travel trailer here. As you've seen on the floor plan that was up, this is a front bedroom, rear bathroom, couple style coach. We're going to start here in the front and then we'll kind of work our way to the back for you. So up here again in the front is going to be your private bedroom area. So you have a window over here on the side that will open. You have hanging closet on each side of the bed. You have that windshield in the front as well. There's electric outlet and USB charger port on the left side and an electric outlet on the right side. They do have a little uh, hole in the side there. So you could set something down inside of there, something like your phone or whatever, if you're trying to let it charge. But you could also kind of set that down in front of the closet door as well. Window over there does open. You have TV hookups on the wall over there. So if you wanted to mount a TV here, you could do so. Looking up, we have a vent up here. Now this one was ordered with 50 amp service, so it's prepped for a second AC. That's what that little sticker right there is also telling you. And if you wanted to do a second AC, it gets dropped in right here. There is room to maneuver around the bed all the way around. And you have a bed that will raise up. So there's storage underneath of there with the shock assist on it. They did do a nicer mattress as well. A nice foam mattress compared to a lot of the travel trailers that I video. Um, I definitely like this. All right, stepping back out into the living room kitchen area here. You have your slide out area here. So your sofa and your dinette are both on a slide. Nice large windows there. All four of those windows do open. The sofa will flip down and make into a small bed. It's a jackknife sofa. There's storage underneath of there. Over here at the dinette area, this will also go down and make into a bed for extra guests. There is storage underneath of there as well. There's an electric outlet underneath of there on the dinette side also. They are currently using a night roller shade. And then if you do the upgraded uh, GT3 package, which is available on some of the Solar stuff as well, you can get day shades as well, along with some other pretty cool upgrades. I did do a video on the larger Rear Kitchen 306 model that had that. So if something like that might interest you, you might hop over there and check out that video as well. So over here, your kitchen area, you're going to have solid surface kitchen countertops, high rise faucet. You do have the little strainer cover there. You have metal mini blind on the kitchen window there, and that window also opens. The Greystone oven, three burner cooktop, the Greystone microwave, and Greystone hood range light and fan. Now, I will list down below in the description a lot of the features and stuff that are on this. Um, this has the little induction cooktop out there. So it has this little pan thing that comes with it as well. Refrigerator-wise, you have the roughly 11 cubic foot Everchill refrigerator. 
and it will open from either direction. So that's kind of neat. It's got a handle on this side and also a handle on this side. So you could flip the door from either way you want. Down below the oven is your electric box with your breakers and fuses. You have the electric fireplace here, which is basically a fancy electric space here. TV on a swing arm, so you can kind of maneuver that around as needed. There's a Jensen stereo system right there that will control the indoor and outdoor speakers. There are four speakers up here in the ceiling and two outside. You can also see your GE ducted air conditioning system there as well. Up here, you're going to have the TV antenna booster button. You can switch it from cable to satellite, depending on whether you have a satellite or cable, wherever you're at. Uh, but it does have a roof mount TV antenna to help bring in local channels and stuff. Back here, you got a little coat hanging area, a little mirror there. Check your uh, hair before you go out the door. You have your traditional RV entry door and exit door here. Now, this does have the Lippert Thin Shade already in here. That's a nice feature that blocks off the window here for privacy. A lot of brands don't have that. It's set up for it, but you got to buy it aftermarket from Lippert. You are pre-prepped for a fancy in-command system. Um, you can order the RV with it from the factory or without it, and, and it is pre-wired still, so you could always add it later if you want. You got some of your controls right here as far as your slide, your awning button, awning light, some interior light switches, uh, water heater on gas button, the electric buttons outside, water pump switch. Um, you can also put tank heaters on it if you're going to cold weather camp. Uh, you have a bunch of stuff here for your monitor panel. Pre-prepping for a Wi-Fi Connect system that you can also order on these things. There are quite a few options you can order on the Solar, depending on what you want. Now here you have these little removable shelves, so you could hang stuff here if you want, or just use it as pantry space. Spinning on around here, we have another little area right here for more storage. So if you wanted to maybe use this as pantry over here and use that closet we just looked at for hanging, you could do so there. Now check out this bathroom. We have a large bathroom back here. Look how big that shower is. ABS tub surround, skylight up above, little sit-down seat, pull across vinyl door. Uh, you have AC and heat in all the rooms, by the way. They're ducted into all the rooms. Um, you do have that uh, large turbo exhaust fan here. Now, up above the outdoor kitchen is also this massive storage for inside here. So you can cram all kinds of towels and linens and stuff in here and then some. So you got a lot of space right there. But that is above the outdoor kitchen area. You'll see when we get back outside. Again, foot flush toilet down here. You have drawers and storage, decent amount of counter space in here, a little medicine cabinet area. And then right here, you have even more storage that goes back there, probably two and a half feet or so. Uh, so pretty decent amount of space back here as well. All right, now I want to head outside. I want to show you around the outside of the RV. Then we're going to come back in here and close it up for you and show you what it looks like all closed up. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, we are now back on the outside of the brand new 2024 Solaire 258 RBS travel trailer here. We're going to start here on the door side and we'll kind of work our way around for you. So first things up, we have a high gloss white fiberglass exterior, aluminum studded, foam block insulated sidewall with the upgraded Asdale composite material. You do have a lower black metal skirting, some vinyl graphics on this one. You have a kind of outdoor kitchen area here set up. You do have a door that kind of acts as a little bit of an awning over top of the area as well. It is a thicker 
better insulated baggage door with the metal slam locks. It also has the shock assist on it to hold the door up for you. Now they did a nice little setup down here on the lower part. You have a metal cabinet down here. So you have a drawer here. You have an induction stove top here as well. Just slides right on back. You have your little sink area there, mini fridge, and then up on the upper part of it, you have traditional RV cabinetry set up here. There is a motion light here. You can turn it on off for motion mode, and you also have electric outlet in there as well. Now down here on the back, you can see this was ordered with power stabilizer jacks on the front and rear. So you have basically on all four corners is the way they kind of set it up. Just behind this rear jack though is hot and cold low point water drains. You have a large folding entry handle there to help you get in and out of the RV. You do have the window in the entry exit door there, and that window does have that Lippert thin shade already built into it, so you don't have to worry about buying that aftermarket right now. You also have the heavy duty more ride entry exit step. Comes down, touches the ground, it's rated for 500 pounds. So a little heavier duty on the step side of things, adjustable feet. You have aluminum wheels, drum brakes. It does have a tire pressure monitoring system on it as well. It also has the upgraded Torflex axle system by Dexter. It's a torsion flex axle system. Basically, each wheel is kind of independent instead of having a leaf spring set up the way they do it. Very nice axle system that you usually only find on more expensive, lightweight style small trailers. Um, but they do bring it up into the larger Solaire here as well. Now, you have kind of a storage area right here. That does go up, we'll see if the camera will pick it up with the daylight or not here, uh, but it does go up pretty high. So a little bit of storage area right here with an electric outlet as well, but again, goes up high, so maybe you could put some fishing poles or something in there, or you know, some of the little things you might use outside could go in there. It is held back by a magnetic catch when it's open. Up here, you're gonna have your stove exhaust vent. You have two outdoor speakers and they're kind of head level. So they're not up real high shooting out over at your neighbors. They're more down here where you can hear them a little better. You have a cable outlet, electric outlet, and a little mount where you could put a TV here as well. You also have your furnace exhausting out right here. You do have a little rail right here as well that you can get, they have an option for a grill and table that kind of sets up right here that if that's something that does interest you and you wanted to go above and beyond the kitchen area already in the back you could do so as well now you have a large power awning here with the led light strip on each arm it has adjustable head uh, or sorry it has adjustable arms for tilting and a manual override in the front arm head normally i would have it out for you on a beautiful day like this but it is very windy outside, so hopefully it's not killing the mic too bad. Um, but we'll find out, I guess, when we're in editing. So here you do have a little storage area. There is a front cap light switch, a motion light there as well. And then you can also see down here the front power stabilizer jacks. Does have the enclosed underbelly as well. Another thing I like that they do, and I don't really didn't really mention it on the last one of these I did, but your power button here to run the jacks up and down actually has a little cover over it to kind of help protect it from the weather. On around to the front side here, you have a three-quarter fiberglass front cap, has that windshield in the front of it as well, lower diamond plate does have a little blue LED light right there. The unit comes standard with two 20 pound propane tanks with the auto changeover regulator and the hard bottle cover. You can opt in to upgrade to 230s if you choose to do so. You have power tongue jack as well, two and five sixteenths hitch ball, heavy duty safety chains, does have the little holder there on the side for them as well. Also has the uh, little coil up breakaway cable instead of the 
straight one so it's a little nicer setup there there's room for one or two batteries to go back here depending on the size of your battery it comes with zero from the rv maker if you do purchase from couches rv nation it does come with at least one it's kind of bubbled out a little bit there nice little slope to the front here you're going to have your docking station so right here is your battery disconnect you have your charge controller for the solar panel that's on the roof. It comes with a 100-watt solar panel. Um, you can expand that if you want. You have your black tank flush, city water inlet, which basically it's your water inlet in general because you're going to fill your fresh water tank and your city water hookup is the same. But you will actually direct the water through these colored valves where you want it to go. You have cable outlet up there satellite outlet up there you also have your water pump switch and utility shower now they do offer again this smart in command system that you can buy it is pre-wired for it already if you want it it's pretty easy to kind of plug and play and do some stuff uh, this one was ordered without it however again you can do that six gallon gas and electric water heater so it will work on electric or propane either one Right here, you have some important informational sticker stuff. So let's start here. This one right here tells me the exterior length, 32 feet, 8 inches, with a dry weight or unloaded weight of 6,314 pounds. This one right here tells me that I have a gross vehicle weight of 7,765 pounds. I have my tire sticker here telling me ST22575R15 D-range tires with a 65 PSI cold. So very important to keep up with your tire pressure. Now on the sides of the slide, they kind of do those as a black material instead of being a white fiberglass. So that's a little different look there. Down here is your kitchen galley dump area. Fresh water tank drain right here as well. Step back here so you can see down the whole side a little bit better. Now this one was ordered with 50 amp electric service. So you do have a detachable 50 amp cord here. This one was pre-prepped for a second air, so if you wanted to add that on, you could do so. Um, right above that is obviously a little light right there, so you can kind of see what's going on here at nighttime. You have your gray and black tank dump back here as well for the uh, shower and toilet area. This right here is actually where you can plug in additional solar panels. They have these like blanket solar panels that you can actually kind of stretch out and lay out. So if you happen to be camping under a tree, kind of boondock camping scenario, you could plug in there, stretch your cable and lay out a blanket solar out into the sun to bring in that power where you can't really move around the one that would be on the roof. Storage area here. On around to the back side here, we have a traditional flat back rear end here. It does have prepping in the top up there for the Voyager camera system. You also have prepping in the top right there for the Lippert portable stow and go ladder that you can do aftermarket as well. You have your spare tire mount back here on the bumper, traditional four inch square tube bumper. Uh, there is a two inch hitch receiver down there that is meant for like a luggage rack or bike rack kind of scenario. It is not meant to tow anything with. But overall, a very nice higher end travel trailer that does have additional upgrades available for it so there are quite a few packages and upgrades and some things you can change around on the solar products uh, you can actually go to couches rv nation's website they have a whole build and price out area that will email you back a price pretty quickly uh, you just kind of pick and choose the options and stuff you want on it and it shoots it right back to your email very cool setup all right we're going to step back inside i want to show you what it looks like closed we'll be right back on the inside all right we have stepped back into the new 2024 solar 
258 RBSS here. And I wanted to show you what it looks like closed. So I've already went ahead and closed it up to speed this part up for you. I'll show you what it looks like going out as well. But you can see when it is closed up, I cannot get to the master bedroom. So it does block me off from that area right there. I can, however, still get to my sink, my kitchen area, my refrigerator to load groceries or something at the grocery store if I needed to. Um, you know, I could still come in here and kind of sit down, watch some TV if I really had to without the slide open. Still need to be plugged in, though, because it is a 110 volt TV. It's not 12 volt. Um, but, you know, I still could come in here and kind of maneuver around and do some stuff. I can get into my bathroom. So, again, if I'm at a rest area or something, I do have enough room to come in here and go to my bathroom. I could take a shower if I had water in my water tank or whatever, use the restroom, that kind of thing. Um, so, it is somewhat functional, closed up, but I have no access to the bedroom. Now, when you're ready to go out, you basically just hit the button right here. And you're going to push the button to take it right on out. Only takes a few seconds for these rooms to go in and out. This is a 12-volt powered, um, basically rack and pinion or worm gear system they refer to it as. So it's pretty simple to do as long as you have a good charged up battery. Hear that kind of ratchety noise that's slipping, letting me know it's all the way out to let off the button. But real quick and easy to run this thing in and out of there. All right, folks. Thanks a ton for taking the time to watch my RV videos. Greatly appreciate it. Please remember to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation, guys. They are one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. They'll definitely save you a lot of money on a new RV. Thanks again.